Today, we're going to be looking at tracks and signs. Sometimes it's hard to spot wildlife, but as a nature detective, you can sometimes find out what's living in the countryside by finding the evidence of what's left behind. Isla. Hello. <laughs> Isla loves nature and she's very good at spotting things. So this week I've given her the challenge to search for wildlife tracks and signs on her daily walk. So shall we see what you found first? I found some holes in these leaves. Maybe it could be an insect. An insect? What kind of insect? Uh, it might have been a caterpillar. You're good at finding caterpillars, aren't you? Yeah. So here's another one that you found, which I think is brilliant. Wiggly worms in the tree and uh, small dots in the tree. Yes. Now, you thought that they might have been made by a worm, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And you're not wrong because these types of holes in wood are often described as woodworm, but they're actually made by a little beetle. See it burrowing through the wood there. Well done, Isla. Great na nature detecting there. Here's my first piece of evidence. What can you see here, Isla? Snail shell. What might have happened? Uh, a bird might have eaten it. It might have been a bird called the song thrush. So snails are a particular favourite of song thrushes. So I think this song thrush has used the brick as a tool for cracking the shells. Should we have a look at another crime scene? There's feathers and it might have been a fox eating it. I think that's a really good guess. It could have been a fox. So, I mean, when you say feathers, what, what was it, do you think? Seagull or pigeon? Yeah. yeah, good good call. The fox could have been a bit noisy because there was lots of leaves on the floor. It would have had to have crept up really quietly, wouldn't it? I think it might have been another bird. There's one called a sparrowhawk. They are excellent bird hunters. So sometimes they ambush their prey from a perch in a tree and other times they just fly in and then they might suddenly change direction to confuse the bird. So I think this might have been a sparrowhawk, but I don't know, it could have been a fox. Okay, shall we look at the next clip? Nuts. Cracked nuts. Can you hear Dougie in the background? He's annoyed because he can't come and see you. <laughs> Who's been cheekily eating his dinner at my garden table? A squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Look how brazen he is. He didn't even run when I opened the door, just carried on eating his lunch. So, okay, let's play the next clip. This is hair maybe from any animal. Is it the Gruffalo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a doggy footprint. It, it's like Dougie's footprint. <laughs> All right, here's another print. Footprints. Yes, well done. Have we found any other tracks and signs? This is the fossil. Wow. Where did you find the fossil, Isla? We found, my daddy found it at the beach. Look. There was, that's a sign that um, an animal was there hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Now that is a really good find. 
That's a sign that's probably been around since the dinosaurs. You definitely win the prize for most epic find. Well done, Ireland.